I've been in Kalinga for most of my life. Um, I left in 92 when I graduated uh, high school. My whole family still lives here. So, um, I mean, I, you know, you always come back to Kalinga. You always come back to Kalinga. When my accident happened uh, 19 years ago, I had to come back. I was at the university. It's one of those days that you never forget. <laughs> it, uh, that happened to be exact September 3rd, 2000. I was just a passenger sleeping in the back seat, and um, next thing I know, I'm waking up. The car is upside down. I'm also, you know, on the on the bottom where my brother's hanging from the seatbelt still. I was visiting here, uh, my family and friends, and. Yeah, I took a drive to go visit another friend that was uh, that was out there, and uh, that's what happened on the way back. I really don't know the exact details, but uh, but yeah, all I know is that it left me uh, T10 paraplegic, and uh, and I guess it's like the biggest blessing I ever had. This is an actual portrait of uh, my my older brother and myself when we were in Mexico crossing the street. Although I was playing Division Three professional soccer while that was happening, I can honestly tell you that if it hadn't been for that, I don't think I would have gotten my life somewhat straight. Some people might say, but uh, but yeah, it's a blessing. And then uh, it wouldn't I wouldn't be where I'm at. I wouldn't have uh, uh, my beautiful child. On TV growing up, I mean, when I came to this country, I had no idea what soccer was. I was introduced to it when I first came to this country from Mexico, uh, and I just fell in love with it. I mean, one of the things about this uh, this sport is that no matter what, no matter race, color, you know, I mean, it doesn't really matter if uh, you like each other, hate each other. The little ball brings like every nation together. I got introduced, you know, played, and I always uh, wanted to be better than everybody else. And, you know, I, I was pretty dedicated, pretty dedicated, obviously, you know, to uh, get a scholarship from Stanislaw State. I coached Kalinga High School, which uh, obviously is where I graduated, where I played. I've been coaching the varsity soccer team for uh, boys uh, for the last five years. I think it was either the second or third day we were there. And from a distance, we're at the FIFA Fan Fest over by uh, Moscow University. And uh, we were just there relaxing. I saw from a distance, I saw this kid just kind of just wheeling, wheeling around. And the closer he got, I noticed that his wheelchair was just horrible. He had one tire and then the other one was just all rims. He was just pretty much on, uh, on metal. What I saw was somebody struggling. And to me, that's what caught my attention. It doesn't really matter what nationality that kid was. You know, all that matters is that uh, somebody with a disability is living a better life. I'm thankful for having a good job, you know, that pays well. And I'm able to be able to do things like this and afford to refurbish my own wheelchair so I can donate it to someone. And I always say that soccer has paid and given me everything I have, everything I own. Again, my education, my child, my job, my car, you know my trips, you know, so I, everything has to do with everything, soccer.